show some courage, or are you not the vanguard of the gods? This is a portent of Bahamut's revival. You must act quickly, Maiden of Olion, receiver of my light and divine revelation. Say, Sean! Is that you, Lavelle? These winds are brutal. They've cut off all communication with our contingent. It seems our only option is to wait for the storm to pass. This is no ordinary storm. Look. What does it mean? Now that the God Key has been removed from holy ground, the balance between gods and demons is collapsing. Are we no longer protected by the grace of the gods, then? I fear that we're not. You won't escape, Favaro. You won't. I refuse to let that happen. Favaro! Curse you, Pazuzu. You're such a show-off. Yeah, we can't let him take all the credit this time. Down, girl. You stink like a dog. Ugh, that's not very nice. You're lucky my little ones are out on a walk. You're lucky I let you indoors. It's my castle, you know. Jeez, you're uptight. You former angels always are. <laughs> Good news, our found a... Our... Yeah? Oh, that's great. Where? The town in fog. It's called Nebelville, Arf, Arf! Really? Can we kill them now? Can we please? You seem to forget our orders, Cerberus. We need to find out who she's working for. Why don't we just capture her and cripple her? We can still have huh? some fun watching. Wait and see. Nebelville has one very interesting resident. Uh, there it is. Please have booze. Oh, is that hell, huh? No, it's not, damn it. Hellheim's that way. Way, 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 uh, that way, so stop asking me. Then let's hurry. Uh, no! Hold on! We're already running out of money. We need more. Let's see, are any of these bounties local? <sighs> yeah, this'll do. Fine, then get up. Stop it, let me finish! <sighs> uh, oh, man, what a job. It's gonna be a real pain in the ass.
lucky or what? If only I would run into a gigantic monster while picking up a damn plant. <laughs> oh well. At least we got what we came for. It looks good, right? I prefer meat personally. This is not for eating. This is a rare herb. Our next target's a master of restorative arts. What's that mean? It's a type of sorcery, weird spells and stuff. So, we need to have antidotes ready just to be safe. Aren't we going to eat the monster? You're sick, you know that? Favaro! <laughs> oh, we did survive. Where am I? Your arm was broken. Huh? Oh, good. Look, honey, our young knight is awake. Are you feeling better now, sir? I'm sure it's confusing waking up like this. I'm a doctor here in Nebelville, and this is my beautiful wife. Over here is our daughter, Rita. I've just finished making dinner. We'd love for you to join us if you're up for it. Man, this concoction reeks. I just remember you got freaking wings. You could have saved me all the trouble and flown up to get this yourself. No, I couldn't have. There, you see? I lost one during the incident. Now I can't fly. Wait, what incident? The incident. <laughs> This is it. The sacred god key. Hear me as I summon Linus Gabatha Ori. God key, huh? Yeah. So that's what that royal tin can was talking about. We don't rest until that god key is found! You're telling me you flew up there and slipped past all those gods all by yourself? That's right. You don't believe me? I can't explain this, but it did happen. She infiltrated our sacred chambers. She walked upon holy ground. That should have been impossible for a demon. She broke the key's ancient and powerful seal by using the divine magic. But only a god could do that. Then she somehow got away despite all of the god's defenses. Okay, if you really did steal this thing, then prove it to me. Where are you keeping this fancy key? It's resting right here. There? Really? Let me see. Oh! The god key is not a physical object. <sighs> I took the key by absorbing its essence, its soul, into my own. Which means, for all practical purposes... She has altered its very nature. I am the God Key now. We're just simple folk in this village. I'm sorry we can't offer you a fancier meal. This is perfect. I'm just grateful that you came to a total stranger's aid. I'm in your debt. I'm the one who brought you here. Well, dig in. And don't worry about being polite. Have as much as you like. Thanks, I will. Huh? Uh -huh. To tell you the truth, we were hoping we could ask you for a favor, too. Of course. We've been under attack. Horrible monsters have been terrorizing our village. Monsters? 
Trolls, or something like them. They live in the forest and come out every morning at dawn. They ravage our fields, eat our livestock, and take our children. Yes, Rita's the only child that survived. But if this keeps up... <laughs> I give my word. As a Lidford, I will repay this great kindness your family has shown me by slaying these monsters for you. What's wrong, Rita? You haven't touched your food. Food is a pretty generous word for this, Mother. I'm not eating maggot soup. Rita! I'll talk to her. You really shouldn't speak to your parents like that, Rita. Did you eat that filth? Of course I did. It brought back memories of my family. You'll regret that. What about that meal was so bad? Where should I start? I could only fool myself for so long. I'm sick of playing family. It's a farce. You're quite the thinker. So how old are you? Should I guess? I don't even remember, but I'm definitely older than you. I'm trying to be serious. Maybe I understand you more than you think. You see, I used to think my family was annoying, too. I come from a long line of knights, and my upbringing was strict. Not much time for fun. I was angry a lot, mostly at my father, and I stayed away when I could. Like you, with your family now. But one day, my father was tasked with guarding our city's tribute to the king. And there was trouble on the road. Bandits ambushed and stole the tribute. My father, as leader of the guard, was held responsible for the lost treasure. And they hanged him. I saw him die. The prestigious Lidford family was stripped of its titles and knighthood. We were banished to the lower quarter like criminals. My mother cried every night for a full year and a half, then threw herself into a lake. And it wasn't until that moment when she died that I realized how much I'd actually loved my family, how much they'd meant to me, but it was too late. Don't be like me, please. Treasure your family while you still can. What a dull and maudlin tale. I am just sorry I listened. <laughs> Hey! The bathroom's that way. Uh -huh. uh, right. Thank you. Here they come. Kaiser? Why are you here? How dare you speak my name with that devil tongue! You stay back. I'll handle this beast myself. Let's get what we came for. Leave her alone! What the hell are you doing? made with a hand-picked herb. You awake now? Favaro! What have you done to me? Take a look around. It's fog. It's been playing tricks with your head, pal. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. You wouldn't have to see the truth of things. Ha <laughs> 
Commander Rita, I presume. Your sick game of house has gone on for too long. I'm shutting you down. I don't think so, Hunter. You're going to play with me too. Cryptosilpercasicto regime small feces arcus fibro. Thanks for the offer, but I'm good. I suggest you wear that Kaiser unless you just like hanging out with zombies. <laughs> You all think you could make a fool out of me? Scarier than the zombies. There you are. one. Yeah. yeah, the Black Bible. This is what we came for. Apparently, Nebelville was overrun by monsters about 200 years ago. The whole town was wiped out. The only survivor was the doctor's daughter. She found that sorcery book and used it to bring back the dead. And keep herself from aging, too. She's been playing this screwed up game of pretend ever since. I'm sick of playing family. It's a farce. You know she was bitten, so she'll be a zombie herself soon, right? But I guess that's your problem now. Seven hundred and fifty rupees. You're getting cheap. Hey, don't eat the duck. New bounties came in, which you might find interesting. Huh? Oh yeah, any easy pickings? What the hell? <laughs> Damn That's royal fine. knights! I've got plenty more here. You see? <laughs> wow, those poster artists are terrible. That could be anybody, right? <laughs> so I heard the girl mention Helheim. Oh yeah, she's freaking obsessed with getting there. Um, they've got some great booze. It's one of my favorite places to drink. <laughs> Can you slow down a little? You're walking too fast. You do realize I never asked you to follow me, right? You're supposed to respect the dead. You kids today have no manners. Suit yourself. So why didn't you lop off my head before I turned? I don't cut the dead. It would taint my sword. You had no problem plowing through my zombies. I said the dead, not the undead. That's a different matter. I think everyone's starting to realize it. Realize what? These previews aren't that serious. Hey, Aurasia, go! On, On the, the next, next page of Bahamut Genesis, Genesis reunion, reunion, reunion is yes. You cheated. 